Hello, today we're talking with Pierre Ronin, who has discovered and found many of these fairy stones, and these are found in lakes, is that correct, in some rivers? Lakes and rivers, because uh, rivers sometimes they widen into lakes. So the same river can be, uh, uh, sometimes you have the river and then the lake, the river and the lake. Okay. And can we show this? As you can see here, these are thin uh, concretions. They're actually um, have silica and oh. calcium carbonate in them. Exactly. Yeah. And would you say that they obviously, um, it's difficult to say they've been around a very long time, for example, millions of years, because they would be all broken up if they had been in a river and hit by other stones. So, so. You told me before you think that they were made more recently, is that correct? Yes. You said the old broken up and the eroded. Uh, with, uh, after a long time, they come like that, you know? They are turning like uh, river stones. Right, they all be, be smoothed off, yes. and these aren't. On the bottom, looks like we you can tell it's matting here against vegetation. Yes. And then this is the top portion. Yes. And um, it looks like the water conditions changed, either the temperature or maybe pressure or the pH level, and this is what caused different times of growth. Now, you mentioned the bacteria was what uh, is involved with this also in the growth, right? Yes. Uh, some of these concretions are very sick, which uh, suggests an accumulation of uh, material uh, rejected by bacteria, because bacteria are everywhere and then they work to, to destroy what is left in the water like in marshes okay and they they make a kind of gelatinous matter on the top of the lake okay and, and so this is why they cannot do that uh, for a very long time since there is a seasonal uh, activity uh, due to the change of the climate during the winter. So it yeah. brings in many different sediments in the water. And, 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 and this the would change, these would change colors and we would have yeah. other little rocks and things yeah. in them. The, and the water composition would be changing. Water composition. So you, don't, you would not have exactly the same aspect. Yeah, so this had to happen in a short time period. You a said se a season. Season, one season of the year. And this is another evidence you can see in this one. Every once in a while, they find some that have holes in them. And these are from like reeds. These were plants. Yes. They grew up through them because these are found, um, most of them found like this, or sometimes they turned over. Are most found like this? Uh, yes. Uh, sometimes uh, they are in, in both sides, but uh, most of the time, like this, yes. Okay, so the top is found yes. most of them. This yes. is very similar to our surface chalcedony rocks that we've explained before and in other areas. But this hole that you see here, this shows us that there's not um, many holes. It's generally, uh, it formed in one location with one holding up. And uh, sometimes we have the plant matter still uh, inside there. Yes. There's basically fossils. Some of these have grown right on top of rocks. Mm -hmm. um, not that one. So here's, here's one. So this was a regular rock that had been broken a long time ago, and here we see one grown yes. right on it. Um, let's see, here's, a, here's another one. Yes. Here was the rock, and, and, and this two of these grew together on top of this one. Mm -hmm. 